To mask. <laughs> or not to mask. The top 10 most likely truths of why people should wear a mask. Number 10. The 10 most likely truth for wearing a mask is when your plastic surgery went terribly wrong and you got a serious side effect from something that pricked you, resulting in your face swelling up disproportionately. Good time to wear a mask. Like what happened to poor Madonna? Have you seen what happened to the poor woman? Honey, who did you hire as a plastic surgeon? I'm guessing Dr. Fauci. He obviously lied to you too. Love you, Madonna, but please wear a mask on your next post because I won't be able to play your song. Who's that girl? Yeah, who are you? And number nine, a tie response. The ninth most likely truth for wearing a mask is when you are in your period and you're acting like a bitch, you should wear a mask that says, I'm on my period, don't bug me and f Or the ninth most likely truth why people wear a mask is that you wear one to save yourself from your husband's farts, protecting you from the real danger of your husband's shitty water droplet molecules in the air that have been killing your plant life and the cat who just collapsed after his excessive flagellants. Make sure to give your cat a mask as well. Mm -hmm. Wear a mask. Number eight. The eighth most likely truth for wearing a mask is if you had a bad makeup day and you're out of foundation to cover those white head zits that are about to pop, creating a second hole in your cheek. Yes, please wear a mask. Number seven, the seventh most likely truth for wearing a mask is when you've been smoking too much meth and crack. You need to hide those yellow gum crevices that are actually molding on your teeth. That's a good time to wear a mask, just to make sure to make a proper hole in the mask so that you could fit that pipe. You wouldn't want to breathe in that toxic graphene while smoking. Too many chemicals, you know. Number six, the sixth most likely truth for needing to wear a mask is when you realize you're half a century old and having to deal with that damn mole below your lip that suddenly appeared overnight and you lost your tweezers and you can't get those ugly hairs growing out of your mole that looks like creepy tentacles. Yes, please wear a mask because we don't need the temptation to make fun of your mole by reenacting Austin Powers bit moly 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 moly. Number five, the most likely truth for wearing a mask is when you just thought just for men would cover your gray and your goatee, and it did, but landed up looking like you put a magic marker to your face coloring the gray out of that hair, including the pigment of your skin. Yes, good time to wear a mask. Number four, the most likely truth for wearing a mask is when you're hiding and running from the cops. Like seriously, make sure you ditch that cell phone, your debit cards, only cash on hands, and wear a mask. Play it smart, people. Number three, a tie response. The most likely truth for wearing a mask is if you have a whore lip, you know, herpes simplex one on the upper and bottom lip, it's not pretty. And no one needs to be envious of how much sex of a whore you've been. Please wear a mask. Dare you. I dare you. And the tide response, the third tide response of the most likely truth for wearing a mask is if you step on your dentures one morning and the dentures shatter into millions of pieces because presenting at the boardroom with no teeth, you can risk losing that account even though no one can hear you with a mask on, so it wouldn't be any different not having your dentures. But your face, without dentures, makes you look like you sucked on a sourpuss for two days, making your lips as wrinkly as the bellows of an accordion. No one needs to see that. Yeah, wear a mask. Yeah, please. <laughs> Number two, the most likely truth for wearing a mask is you have bad breath from eating too much garlic. Wearing a mask in this instance will save the life of vampires. We all know that. Vampires' <laughs> life matters! And number one, the first most likely truth for wearing a mask is that you believe the news porn so religiously you become paranoid, scared shitless of COVID-19 viruses and their family of variants. And you believe wholeheartedly that wearing a mask will save your neighbor, yourself and your grandpa. And you wear a mask because you are confident the fine couple who live in the mansion down the road who are a career journalist and a veterinarian doctor, they must be telling the truth about mask wearing because you know professionals always speak the truth. And besides, they would never lie because they're rich. And the most likely truth for wearing a mask is because you can look better than everyone else as you pinch lightly the nose area of your custom designed mask to show unmaskers how responsible you are, all while looking down at the unmaskers with an evil eye for killing people. With the added truth that you still do this even after having suspect suspicion when learning that no lines of evidence to support its medical prevention use after talking to your gay neighbor in the mansion just west of yours who survived AIDS. But to save face that you might be wrong, you then convince the other neighbors to finally disown your gay neighbor from the community, all while pinching lightly your nose, fitting the Calvin Klein designer mask. Because frankly, how could he know anything about virology? He didn't even take the vaccine. And that, fine folks, are the 10 most likely truths for why people wear a mask.